Well, he's not endorsed by former President Trump, current Attorney General, and now Senate candidate Mark Burnovich is hoping his job history will propel him to November. Yeah, I sat down with Mark Burnovich to find out why he thinks he should garner your vote in the primary. In a crowded field of Republican Senate candidates vying for the nomination in the primary, current Arizona Attorney General Mark Burnovich sat down with us explaining why he believes he stands out. What separates you from Blake Masters and Jim Lehman? I am the only person that can that has those middle class Arizona values that's a principled rule law conservative that can actually beat Mark Kelly. And I think at the end of the day, Republican primary voters recognize that. He's up against Blake Masters, Jim Lehman, Michael McGuire, and Justin Olson for a shot at facing incumbent Democratic Senator Mark Kelly in the general. The difference, Brnovich believes, is his track record fighting illegal immigration. The law is all about consistency and certainty. So regardless of what people think about immigration, you cannot have anarchy and chaos and seed control of our southern border to the cartels. And that's what Joe Biden's done. When you talk to some of the experts on, on immigration, what we're seeing uh, and what we've seen over the past decade or so in the rise of immigration, uh, they simply point to immigration reform that has to be dealt with on a congressional level. Uh, are you willing to do that if you were to win a Senate seat? Look, I, I have a history of working with anyone inside you know, my political party, outside my political party, friend and foe, whoever it is, as long as it's the best thing for Arizona. However, his headlines lately have not been about immigration, but rather abortion. After the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, Last month, the second term AG announced Arizona's 1901 pre-statehood abortion law was the law of the land, sentencing anyone up to five years in prison for helping a pregnant woman obtain an abortion unless her life is in jeopardy. So in order to provide some clarity, we said we believe this is what the state of the law is. And it's the law that was recodified in 1977, it's 13-3603. Um, just this year, the legislature did pass a bill uh, dealing with um, uh, bans on abortion after 15 weeks. But in that bill, and it was a bill the governor literally signed, in that bill it says 13-3603 is not repealed and is still good law. And even with no exception of rape and incest. When you're a prosecutor, whether it was a gang prosecutor, it was a federal prosecutor, even my time as AG, I always say you enforce the laws it is. So for example, I'm on record. I think that there should be exceptions for rape and incest and also to save the case of a mother um, when it comes to abortion. But that's not what the law says. A poll released today by OH Predictive Insights shows Brnovich in third, trailing frontrunner Blake Masters by 24 points with a four point margin of error. Masters surged to the top after being endorsed by former President Donald Trump, an endorsement Brnovich was seeking. Political pundits out there say uh, in order to seek former President Trump's endorsement, you had to buy into the big lie. Is that what he asked you to do? You know, Javier, as I just said, I have told, told former President Trump, told anybody that will listen out there, viewers, uh, Channel 15, if you care about, you know, energy independence, you care about low taxes, low regulation, you know, the rule of law, confirming good federal judges, I'm your guy, but I'm not going to say something publicly or privately that either I don't believe or I can't prove. And was that the big lie that he wanted you to say? I think that's the, um, I've told you what my conversations were and, you know, and um, that, that's, they are what they are. ABC 15 is your home for fair and accurate election coverage. Find candidate profiles for several Arizona races right now on abc15.com slash election.